How you doing everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Solent. Oh my days. Look at it. We could be anywhere. Well, not anywhere. It's just, it just looks nice. But my main target today is a cuttlefish with no head. Let me see if I can get one. Target achieved, first cast. Just like that. A cuttlefish with no head. Now I'm only kidding, obviously I knew it was there. Hello. That's what we came here for, mate. That's what yeah. we came here for. Target species achieved. Look at that. That's nice. Know? It stinks. Well, it's not too bad. Actually, surprising. You'd probably eat that, wouldn't well, you? I'm going to have a give it a go. It's not yeah. a pating. Have you got any wasabi left? I oh, know, you've had it all. Tom's already at the dinner. Yeah. We're meant to be having a romantic dinner together. Are we together. supposed to share that? No. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the rocket you've got left. You've got that. Anyway, that is a cuttlefish with no head. Better hold it out. Anyway, welcome back everyone. Today, we're out stingray fishing. We, as Sorry. in you at home, <sighs> I, and Mr. Bagnall. Tom's not actually mic'd up, I am. I just I think have to shout. He shouts anyway. Um, how are you? All right. Oh my God. That is honking. No wonder you got no teeth. Got calcium. Calcium, yeah. Can you actually eat that? Well, You're regretting it now. <laughs> As you can see, it is truly beautiful here today. It's just gone one o'clock and high water is four o'clock. So it's not really a mammoth session. I've actually got to get out of here, go home, sort my stuff, and fly up to Edinburgh tomorrow morning to work a show at Edinburgh Angling Centre for Tronix Pro. So I can't really stay out late, you know me. I like to put the maximum effort in, but today it's gonna to be three hours up and two back. But if you've come out stinger fishing before on the Solent, it's so hard work. <laughs> that you can't really put in, well you can, but you wouldn't want to put in 12, 15 hours at this. For one, you get through six pound of rag. For two, your hands are hanging off and it's just not really enjoyable. But it is just for a few hours. And if we get one, we're doing really well. So what I'm gonna do is just run over my rig quickly. I'm not gonna make it in front of you. I'm not going to mess around like that. As I've said, we've only got four to five hours fishing, so I'm going to get on with it. Starting off with my up and over rig, it's eight foot long. I've got an up and over clip. I don't know why I'm doing that. I've just seen it before on YouTube, so everyone else does it, so I am. But look, there you go. That's my up and over clip to a 130 pound rig body, to my bead, my pulley bead, bead, and my swivel. As you can see, oh, I've got a tangle already. That's good. That's fine. To my clip, to my splashdown, allowing this to move. I've then got my 90 pound hook length, as per normal, to a 3-0 circle with my tubing. Believe it or not, that's a 3-0 hook, a short shank hook from Tronix Pro. I absolutely love it. Look how offset that is. Hopefully you can see. It's so bright out of here and it's beautiful. What I'm going to do is not show you the rig now in its glory. I'm going to put some bait on and then I'll clip it up. As you know, I like to do it when it's on the rod as it's under tension and it's a lot easier. If I try and put an eight foot rig together here, I'm going to end up like a snake's wedding and a shitty heat. Believe it or not, on my second rod, I've got a 12 foot up and over to get me maximum movement. We've got on the massive hooks. Well, I said massive hooks just now and Wayne laughed at me. I've got 3.0, I've got a 3.0 Tronix Pro Octopus Circle. No, I haven't. They don't even make those. I know. That's the first lie, isn't it? I've got a 4.0 <laughs> and then a 3.0 um, Manta X. Well, you explained that very well. Thank you. <laughs> don't worry, we leave stuff in. We're, we are normal, you know. I've just been trying to talk to you, going, I don't know what's wrong with me. And Tom's like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine today. And I, then... just, I just invented a hook side. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Anyway, I've got... Big ragworm bait, there's three sort of chunky worms, threaded up, head hook the top one on, on the circle, 
Um, I put my last one on upside down, so the head's that end. Yeah. Um, I just find it stops it sagging off around the hook too much. Yeah, it's very good, yeah, because um, you normally get a towel that just hangs off. Yeah. And it's the biggest part of the worm. We've done this before with our match fishing and stuff, where you're, you're the fine person to talk about match fishing, but the scent's coming out the head, yeah? Yeah, well, with this sort of size worms, it's just scent coming out everywhere, really. Yeah. I've, uh, I've gone completely lazy. Wayne's tied up some beautiful up and over rigs. I've gone with something, you can Google this, it's called a running ledger. Wow. I know, I actually invented that myself. Yeah. Um, only two years ago, it's probably, I don't think anyone's ever used one before. The Bagnall Ledger. <laughs> Um, so, good old fashioned zip slider on my uh, shock leader, a couple of rubber beads. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, um, nice big chunky stainless steel swivel, some 070 snood I use in the Maxima to my big worm bait. And that's it, that is so super, super simple. Because that, that was a run. Wow. What was, what was that? It's a drag set quite light, but... That was nice. I was just saying to you back at home, um, Tom probably didn't hear, you've got a good chance of a gilt head here, haven't we? And a bream. Yeah, yeah, they do some big gilts. Yeah. Well, Robbie had an eight pound four from the solar last year. Yeah, so we've got a chance. Different. So we're gonna uh, keep fishing. I think that's fishing. just a bit of weed. It's just got that sort of swaying in the water sort of movement going on. But we're going to keep fishing. Yeah, I'm going to chuck this out. I'm going to bait at the same as Tom, because we're actually fishing for big fish. If we were fishing for bream, we wouldn't have our baits that far spread out. But we're trying to spread them out to get so... I can't talk. We're trying to spread... I don't know what's going on today, by the way, everyone. I, Sunshine's I, getting to us. I'm going to leave this in. We haven't been drinking, not yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you spread your baits out, get a nice central. If I was fishing for black bream and bits like that, obviously I can back... back oh, fuck. I'm not even going to talk. Right, we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Fishing the Solent is well enjoyable. Sweet. I left it out for half an hour, it's my fault. Fun in? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure, mate. Yeah, this is not fun. Just the weeds come through. It can be like this from time to time. It's an absolute pain in the ass. But that's why we keep coming, eh? No, I'm stuck in. Gotta watch my tip. I can I stop winding, now I'm stuck on something. Oh yeah, that's a nice nice bunch. Nice bit of weed. Oh. A lot of it's just come off. There you go. Welcome to fishing the Solent, everyone. Pardon? No. Oh. Anyway, I'll sort this mess out. How's it going? Right, it's been a bit shit. We've been fishing for about three hours. We're not really moaning, or I'm not moaning. Nor's Tom. 
It's been absolutely beautiful. We've been chilling out, putting the baits out every half an hour, 20 minutes. And we're starting to get a few baits coming in now, looking all right. So we're fishing well, everything's looking up, but there's no stingers around. Tom's had a bath, as I said earlier, but I'm gonna keep fishing. Look at that. Now that's a bait. Plenty of scent, plenty of hope, but we're fishing. And look at it. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's full of weed, as we know. Yeah. Tom's got a load of weed. I'm just gonna, we're just on the top of the tide now. So I'm gonna put this a little bit further. Because hopefully with no tide push, I'm not gonna get weed pushed into my line, he says. Not as much anyway. But yeah, I'll keep fishing. If we get any action, you know I'll bring you back. I still hope. Tom's gonna fish for about another hour. I'm gonna stay on, because I've got a little bit further to drive and I don't want to get stuck in traffic and I want to make the most of it really. So I'm going to fish probably till about eight o'clock or until I've got no water left. But I'm going to keep trying anyway. Wish me luck and I'll see you in a minute when my rod's bent over and I'm bent into one of these beautiful stingrays. I've got more chance of growing a set of tits. And I don't mean the ones that I've got here. I mean like girl ones. So before you stay at home, you've already got them. All right, see you in a bit everyone. Look at that, right on high water. So what normally happens here on the Solent, and like a lot of places that struggles with weed, you get to the top of the tide and you get a little lull. And then when the tide starts ebbing out, which is going out, the weed is horrendous. And in quite a lot of places, you can't really fish. Sometimes it's like that here. So I'm just gonna try and fish on. It's high water now. Any minute it could start ripping the other way and make it unfishable really. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully the weed won't be too bad and I can keep trying for us. Hey, I've got a bite everyone. Slacking me off. I'll leave it for a bit though. I'm not gonna rush. More of a bream bite. Hey, it's nice to see a bite there. Yeah. I got a bite. Nice to see the rod move. Do you see me flapping? I was almost gonna, I don't know, strike, pick the rod up. <laughs> and now I've just remembered to chill out. Chill my beans. I was excited then. Ah. Calm down, Wayne! Yes! I'm excited! I've got bass written all over There's me. There's a bass. Oh well, we're out fishing and we're getting bikes, finally. Was that that whole cutterfish you put up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's still there. Yeah, he's there, mate. Yeah, let's have a look. Slacking me off. Come on. Yes. We're in. We're into a fish. It's not, it's not as big as your bass. Although, I've had double figure ones just swim in and go mad when you go and get them out of the water. Oh. Might not even be there now. I think he is. Could be a little one. It's a fish, eh? It's a fish. Could be a bream. Could be a live fish. I know. Bank the blanks over. Could be. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Ah! Oh, well. It wasn't a stinger, let's be honest. No. Well, there you go. What sort of angler am I? <laughs> oh, wow. It's a 
problem with fishing massive baits, big hooks for little bass, isn't it? It happens. Oh well, we'll keep fishing. The signs of life. Let's have a little bite on this one. I've got some weed there. Standard. Solent weed. There might be a little fish underneath. It's a good workout though. Keeps you fit. Sweet fish. It's not really fighting. I did have a bite there. Not a big bite. Whoa. Now the weed's picked back up, I drop it in short. Weed. Good weed. Yes. I got my rig I lost. No, remember I had the one snap off. So we've not left anything behind. We've not taken anything either. <laughs> oh, wow. That's good news. Earlier I cracked off. Actually, I didn't when I was winding in first cast. Both my lines crossed and I cut myself off and I pulled the rig in. So we're not leaving anything behind other than footprints. But we've not caught any fish, but I'll keep trying. Despite the size of that bait and everything else going on. Hang on. Still on the circle hook. Got a sneaky crab on the bottom. I did say to you. Yeah, you did, yeah. And in fact, I've left them all with you. With you the little rug. Russian. No, it's fine. Look at Tom, he's bagging up again. <laughs> Putting me to shame, 2 0 and all that. Yeah, well, 1.2. Huh? That is. A... Uh, what do you reckon, 10 pounds? Yeah. Oh, I'd love one of them. What? A fish. <laughs> That's a fish, yeah? I think so. Well, it's very nice. Well, we'll get it back. But thanks for coming. Tom's going to go now. He's outstayed his welcome, catching oh, yeah. fish. No, it's fine. I caught two fish, so I have to go home. Yeah, you're not allowed to do any more. No, you've got to go home. You're going home now, aren't you? I am, yeah, I've got to go home. I've got to see my daughter. Yeah. Give her some good news that we've just received. Yeah, good, mate. Um, which I'm quite looking forward to. Yeah, well, good on you. I'm going to stay a little bit longer, because you're... How long does it take you to your house from here? By the time I've walked back, loaded the car, driven back, hour maybe yeah it's a good two for me yeah so i'm gonna stay you make the most of it. fish into the witching hour the unfortunate thing is the tide's gonna rip the water's gonna go and the weed's gonna come but i've definitely got a chance of a fish Ooh, so, got bait in the bait in the water exactly. you got a chance of fish haven't you? so i'm gonna stay on a little bit longer probably only an hour but i'll stick at it but it's great to see you again mate yeah you too man thanks for coming out Pleasure. we better rephrase that thanks for coming out fishing <laughs> Is that all right? That's better than just thanks Sorry. for coming out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's not 1980s anymore, so... Modern world, but... Yep. Anyway, cheers for coming. No worries, man. How you doing, everyone? Obviously, my name's Wayne, and I'm blanking here on the Solent. No, it's OK, though. The sun's going down. I've stayed on. I've had two more casts since Tom's left, so I've put the effort in and I'm still blanking. What I'm gonna do now is slowly pack up. As I've said, I've just cast out again. When I bring them in, I'm gonna get myself off home. I've got to fly up to Edinburgh tomorrow morning, go up to Edinburgh Angling Centre and work for Tronics Pro. So I need to get a little bit of sleep and I need to pack my clothes and sort all my stuff out anyway. Tomorrow afternoon, hopefully I'm going out with the HTO Pro and we're gonna do some drop shotting for Flounder. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully film that so that will make a nice video, if we get one, obviously. But that's fishing. That's stingray fishing. As I said to you before, it's not going to be perfect. And it's hard work. If it was easy, everyone would do it. But it's not. But next time, I may get one. So I'll just keep trying. But look, thanks again for watching. Thanks for all your support. I, you know, I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you somewhere else next on a new video. Take care, everyone. If I get a fish, 
I'll bring you back, but if not, I'll see you somewhere else soon. Cheers then.